so quick unfortunately I spent 70% of that in my hotel room sick um, and I fully recover the morning I leave Japan of course Murphy's Law but before I leave I'm here in the Japan Air and Sakura first class lounge and I cannot leave this country without having some sushi and they have a fresh sushi bar I mean look at it there's this beautiful white fresh fish prawn it looks like a mixed vegetable tempura and a fresh ginger and pickled ginger. So the sushi master made this fresh on the spot and he just put in a dab of wasabi on the rice. So let's have a little taste. Okay. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's like a tin fish. So the flavour is fresh. It tastes like the ocean and the rice is perfectly cooked with that perfect mix of wasabi. Now let's try that prawn, raw prawn. Mm. That's fantastic, that's delicious. Seriously fresh. And lastly, I don't know what that is. Seaweed is a bit chewy, but apart from that, just the perfect start to the morning. Grapefruit juice and black coffee, that's all I need. Second course, I got some smoked trout. I love, love, love smoked trout and the Japanese really know how to make a good smoked fish especially. I've been eating so much of the smoked mackerel of weight. Oh my god, it's delicious. Okay, let's see how they do the smoked trout. Because we do a wicked smoked trout back in Australia. Let's hope it's not dry. The skin is a bit tacky and there isn't that strong distinctive smoke taste but the flesh is gorgeous because I just love the flavour of trout and it pains me to say this I probably prefer trout over salmon and the only reason I don't eat trout as more as I do is because I find the bones really fiddly so the fact that this does not have that many bones gets a thumbs up okay, and this is the basil basil sausage Let's see what it is. Itadakimasu. Mm. Creaminess from the cheese, sweetness and tartiness from the cherry tomatoes complements the, the very strong basil flavour of that sausage. Mm. And, of course, something sweet. 
So taiyaki is so it's a fish shaped cake and I chose one which is the traditional red bean filled and the other is cream filled. I don't know what it is so let's try the first one. That's not cream, that's custard. It is so smooth, it is so rich, it's so creamy, and it's so sweet. It is amazing. Mm. The second one is red bean, obviously. Mm. I love red bean, I love azuki beans. I know some people find it strange that you can actually turn a, a, a lentil or a pea into a dessert, but I love it. It's just beautifully smooth. It is not grainy at all. It is, wow, yum. I just wish it was bigger. I might go back for more. this against the Malaysian Airlines or the Qantas Club business class shower facilities but this Japan Airlines first class shower facilities is gorgeous. Anyone flying out of Narita, um, the Sakura first class lounge, have a shower in here. You need a minimum of 30 minutes before your boarding time before you'll be allowed in here. I'm gonna go freshen up. See you on board! Japan. See you in Malaysia.
金币。G'day gorgeous people, welcome to flight MH0089D. Um, this flight was supposed to leave at 10.20 a.m. but I believe pushback occurred at half 12 and uh, there were multiple factors as to why there was delays. We took off from Tokyo about 15 minutes ago and um, I'm just getting some sparkling water and um, some warm nuts. The crew here as always has been Fantastic. What I find that Malaysia Airlines does really well is the customer service, is the consumer experience in their premium classes. It's about genuine openness, generosity and just a touch of professionalism and that's what I like. I spent about an hour talking to the cabin crew that's looking after first class and I should say that I am the only PAX in first class today. So, woohoo! But, they were just so lovely. In fact, one took me on a tour of the, of the aircraft and, and she even took me into the cabin rest areas at the back of the aircraft and I got to see the bunk beds. So cool, I wish I bought the camera. I didn't even think about it. Satay is served. Oh my God, this looks amazing. And what's more, look at the amount of satay they've given me. They've given me a bowl that's like, it's like a, a soup bowl of satay sauce. Oh, yum! You cannot fly Malaysian Airlines in business or first class and not have their signature satay. Um, and like always, I elected to have the combination of beef and chicken. And today's plating, we've got three beef and two chicken. 
let's see how tender this is. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Itadakimasu. Oh, wow. It, that beef is seriously, that beef is seriously melted in your mouth. I don't even need to chew and, wow. That satay sauce is sweet, savory, but spicy as well. It's probably the spiciest of any of the satay sauces I've eaten on any of the airlines so far. Whether it's Singapore, Malaysian, AirAsia, any airline. This is the spiciest satay sauce I've had yet. And to me, spicy equals two thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh my God, this is so good. Chicken now. Let's get a huge dollop of satay sauce on that chicken. Oh my God, look at that. The chicken is moist, it's not dry, and it's so incredibly well marinated. I'm just gonna bite into it. Can you see that? That marinated has actually permeated through the entire piece of chicken. It's actually gone straight to the core. Wow, that's why it tastes so amazing. Now the caviar course is now served. Starting from the top left hand corner, we have egg white, followed by onions and parsley, egg yolk, blinis, melba toast, sour cream, lemon, and of course we have the, the star of the dish, the caviar sitting in the center of an icy bowl. Um, ordinarily, if it was exceptional quality caviar, you have it by itself. You just put it on the back of your hand and you will lick it off and that's it. Generally, you have all these accoutrements, these accompaniments, um, if it's lower grade caviar. But I love caviar in all forms, whether it's flying fish roe or obviously Russian sturgeon like this. And also, if it's good quality caviar, you do use a pearl spoon. I do have a pearl spoon at home. Um, I don't eat caviar that often, but I, um, I do occasionally indulge. Um, and it has been quite some time since I had this last. Okay, so let's start with the blini. Just a touch of sour cream and then, oh my lord, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Oh ho ho. Oh my god. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh my god. The burst of saltiness from those little black gems. Wow. Let's try that again. Mmm. Wow, really exceptional. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if it's a $5 fine fish row caviar you get at a local supermarket or the $1,000 100 grams Russian rare stir white sturgeon or golden sturgeon caviar. I love them. See you next course. Now for a palate cleanser before the Japanese entree. Ooh, sorbet's a bit hard. And there's a bit of a micro green on that. It could potentially be a basil. Mm, oh. It's a honeydew sorbet. Oh, it's so lovely, so refreshing, sweet. Mm. Perfect palate cleanser. 
the Japanese option entree looks incredible. I'm a terrible slurper. I really am. I don't know how to slurp properly. So I apologize if I slurp on the camera, but apparently it's okay to slurp. Okay, so here we go. I love cold soba noodles. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh my goodness, that noodle sauce is gorgeous. It's sweet, it's got umami, it's got you know very generous serving of um, um, shoyu. And I think there's a slight tang to it, maybe that's yuzu. Oh, that's lovely. And I like the fact that it's quite light on the mayonnaise because I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of, of overly creamy soba. To start with that duck because I love duck and you all know that duck is my favorite protein oh my god this looks so good mm. duck can never go wrong oh. look at me how uncouth napkin and I haven't got it out Try a bit of that. I'm gonna once again assume that's mushroom. Mm. It's sweet. It's got lots of pepper on it. It's almost got the texture of of pulled pork. But obviously, it's not. Mm. That's impressive. Oh, look at that. That's luscious root. Tasteless. No. No, not a fan. Not to my palate. Well, to anyone's palate. It's actually literally neutral. There's no flavor to it. Okay, let's try this sardine. It looks very dark. I hope it's not dry. Bones melt in your mouth. That is sweet. It's got the bitterness from the, the sardine oils. And you've got that intense sardine flavor as well from the skin. This is delicious. Admittedly, if you don't like fishy fish, you probably won't like this. I love this. Now, the prawn. I know a lot of people will, will eat the head. I'm not one of those people. Mm. That's good. The Japanese main course is now served. Starting from the top left hand corner, we have a miso soup, a bowl of rice, and salmon motoyaki, and toasted sea urchin, and classic accompaniments. Now let's try that. I actually don't know what it is. It could be a root vegetable, it could be the sea urchin. Let's see. Itadakimasu. It's like a yam or a taro. I love the mushrooms. These are so nutty and buttery. It's almost like burnt butter. Oh. Itadakimasu. Oh. Oh my god. I'm gonna say this now. The best salmon I have ever eaten. Full stop, exclamation mark. Oh my God, hands down, the best salmon I have eaten anywhere. Not just up in the sky, but 
anywhere. It is freaking awesome. It is delicious. Wow. It is not dry at all. Whatever that is, that is like the, the skin and the crackling on pork belly. It just keeps the meat underneath moist, but more than just moist, it flavors it. And that's what that's done. Spectacular. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay, I'm absolutely stuffed up to pussy's bow. I don't think I can eat anything else. In fact, I almost feel like vomiting. Right? That's how full I am, but in a good way. All the food was delicious. Um, so I did voluntarily ask to skip dessert. However, I did ask for te tare, which is one of my favorite hot drinks. So it's cool tea, it's warm, it's tea, it's sweet. Oh, it's so comforting. It's like drinking a warm blanket. So I've now put the bed down and I'm gonna get comfortable um, and I will um, see you at refreshment. I just couldn't eat anything else. They, they're actually saying, did you want a beef rendang or did you want something else from the, you know, the main course menu? And I just said, no. Um, actually, I could handle fruit and um, my kopi or. So that's kampong style kopi or kampong style coffee. So it's strong black coffee and I have it unsweetened. Um, and the way they actually roast the, the Malaysian coffee is that they, they cook it, they roast it with rice and with margarine or butter. So there's like a creaminess to it anyway. So it is one of my favorite, favorite coffees in all the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this flight as much as I did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons below. If you've yet to visit my Instagram account, here's the address. So, till the next Woody adventure or in flight review, bye! so much it's been an amazing flight thank you absolutely bye thank you again welcome back to klia